Scorpio and welcome to your April reading. I hope that you are doing well. Okay, the first card that we have for you is the King of Swords. So, there's some kind of there's some kind of decision that's made this month. Um, either like by you or it really impacts you um, in a way that's it's very impactful for you in your life. So it can be some kind of decision that you make with like a partner or like with a friend. Um, but yes, this is something that's very impactful and it seems like at first like you think like, wow, this was such a harsh decision. Like you feel like um, someone kind of says something, decides something, and at first you're like, why would they do it this way? Um, but with this Queen of Cups here, I'm getting like later this month you're gonna understand that this was actually from like wanting your highest good in some way um, so yes at first it seems very like almost harsh but it's like this person really wants the best for you if it was someone else that kind of made a decision that's impactful for you hmm. okay we also have the ten of swords and queen of presents so um, and also with this Eight of Swords here, I'm getting there just something in your life that really needed to like end or to change. And so this could be like this decision you make. Like at first it has to be very um, like mental, like like because it's hard for you to make this decision for yourself emotionally. But you know that it has to end in some way because um, it just seems like it's causing you too much stress, too much anxiety for things to continue the way that they have. So at first, like, you might have to make this decision, like I said, really just with your mind, but then later, like, it seems like your heart follows this decision because it's, like, wanting the best for the situation. Hmm. Okay, we also have Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Candles. So, I'm mean, going some of you <laughs> kind of odd, but you might change something with your um, looks here that really helps you to feel like, like you might get like new clothes or you might style your clothes a different way. And so like you wake up on this particular day and you just feel like dressing a little bit differently. And like at first you're like, it seems a bit strange to you. Um, but then later, like you're gonna, this is gonna be something that brings you a lot of confidence and you're like, oh, this is actually more true to my authentic self now. So instead of like dressing how you usually dress, um, and it could just be like I said, styling your hair different or like wearing a different combination of clothes that um, makes you feel like you're like a present, authentic expression of yourself. I'm meaning also you're going to be very popular this one, Scorpio. With the Empress card here, there's a lot of people who are wanting your attention and a lot of people who are very like interested in you, looking at you, um, they may notice that you did something kind of different and like since it's so authentic, like it really attracts people, it's very magnetic, um, this kind of change that you make, but just in general I'm seeing a lot of people that are wanting to talk to you, wanting to reach out. Okay, we also have time to decide, make a decision based on your heart's true desires. So this is kind of like what I was saying with this decision in the beginning of this reading. Um, there's some kind of decision that you need to make and like I said it seems like this isn't like an easy decision there's a lot of emotions about this there's a lot of maybe even contradictions and like your perspectives and your desires but maybe having some quiet time um, and really figuring out this Queen of Cups here like what is for your highest good um, what your heart is truly saying to you I'm getting there's just a lot of this like fog and confusion at the beginning of this month um, but then, like, as the month progresses, you're going to get this clarity and you're going to be able to make a decision um, that's really going to make, like, your heart, your emotions happy. Okay. Um, we also have oracle cards. You are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So, oracle cards can be very helpful for you in making this decision and helping to kind of get in touch. Like, if you're not sure about something, maybe you can... Um, pull cards about it and if this is something that you like to do or you can watch an oracle reading and something that's really helpful with this is like you'll know actually 
what you want for a particular outcome once you pull the cards for it. So say you're like, very simply put, like a yes or no reading or something like this. Um, and if the answer is no and you realize like, oh, I didn't want it to be no, I wanted it to be yes. Once you get like a no, then you kind of understand like, okay, so I wanted the answer to be yes to the cards, if that makes sense. Um, so the Oracle cards are really going to help you um, to gain some guidance and clarity that you need in order to make this decision. I guess actually I'll get a yes or no, perhaps, right now. <laughs> Let's see. Regarding this um, decision that Scorpio needs to make, ooh, okay. So we're getting look for a sign and get more information. So um, this could be through cards like on your own or something. Um, ooh, okay, okay. Um, it's like in some cards you're going to be getting a sign about this. We also have unlikely. So it's not really a yes or no answer. I'm mean, getting some of you need to figure this out for yourself. Um, never mind. Um, so yes, you're just going to be getting some um, information, some kind of sign from the universe about this. That's going to help you to decide for yourself because it's different for everyone. Okay, understood. <laughs> also, I'm getting it's like you, um, like whatever this decision, don't like stress too much about specifically the decision that you have to make with this unlikely card here. For some reason, I'm getting it's like you are, the odds are that you're going to make this right decision for yourself, you're going to do um, the right thing, so don't stress like if you're going to make the right or wrong decision, because what you choose will be right. We also have choose what makes you happy, so there's this really big choice that you're making, this really big decision. Um, yeah, and it's just you're going to have to choose you and your happiness, so um, something that really makes you happy. Interesting. Like something that's best for what I'm getting is like your long-term overall happiness that you're choosing here. Um, and so this is going to be actually in the end a very happy change decision that you make with this card here. Um, with, all, with, with all these like fireworks at the top and stuff, it's like after you decide this, after you choose this thing, there's a lot of joy for you. Okay, we also have, you are capable of brilliant transformation. So, um, yes, I'm getting this, like, thing that you do. It really just opens up a whole new door for you. And also with this, like, dressing new, styling your hair new, um, you're really going to feel like you're transforming this month in some way into, like, a, um, it's, I feel like it's something that you, like, like I said, it's like you wake up and you start choosing your clothes differently and you're not even sure, like at first it's like, hmm, it might seem a little bit odd, but then later you're like, oh, this is so true to me now. This makes so much sense. And so you just feel like you have this capacity to change. Um, you're very capable of this brilliant transformation as this card says. Wow, <clears throat> so we also have a change in the wind. There's so much uh, change for you this month, it doesn't have to be. Um, I'm getting it's just very, very exciting. Um, so maybe you had felt like you were stagnant in some area for some time, but this change is just super, super exciting. So I'm really happy for you, Scorpio. Um, yeah, it just seems like you're going to be seeing yourself differently, you're going to be seeing the world differently. Um, even your past differently, there's this like huge transformation and change um, like in the physical realm but also in your emotions and your mental space. Um, very big change for you. And also with this code creator card here, like I was saying, like someone is a part of this decision for you and so um, there might be someone that really helps you to, like they might have a different perspective or something that really helps you to um, Create this. It could also be like this decision affects them as well, so that's why they're a part of this. Like you could be changing some kind of dynamic with someone, or like your relationship with someone, or like just a complete example. But if you have like a life partner and like you want to move a house or something, like you both have to make that decision together. It's something that you co-create. You know what I mean? Um, so. Yes, it seems like in the end both of you are very happy about this decision, um, if it is something that really affects both of you. 
Okay, and we also have the fates. So I'm getting you're just gonna be really feeling like the like universe and fate is on your side. And you're gonna be feeling a lot about like destiny, about things are um, like something really destined to happen um, is going to change for you. Hmm. Also, I'm just going to be feeling like, I'm getting that you're just going to be feeling so um, kind of in body here with this card, like this person is hugging themselves, like you're just going to be feeling very um, in touch with yourself and very close to yourself in some way. Interesting. Okay, we also have loyal heart. So, I'm getting someone is very loyal to you here and they really want the best for you. Um, this person really thinks very highly of you, how these people are both wearing crowns here, um, you had someone's loyalty like completely, um, and so I'm getting this person just, this person just wants you to be so happy, um, I'm getting there is some key of knowledge that this person has though that they have to share with you, it's someone very close to you, um, that's super super loyal in some way, hmm. You're going to be feeling very, like, nestled with this person in some way, like, very close. Interesting. Hmm. There could be some kind of, like, for those of you that, when I'm saying this, it's like you're thinking of someone romantic. Um, you could do something romantic with this person, or this person really does something to prove their loyalty to you, or this could be, like, in general, like, um, someone does something that really shows their loyalty, that really makes you realize, like, this person has my is really looking out for me. They really want the best for me. Okay, so thank you, Scorpio. That's all I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you like a personal reading, please email me. The email for that is in the description of this video. Thank you.